y'all as i'm looking at this video i'm like oh we child how did your room get like this <laughs> yeah i'm sure a lot of you guys have these moments and y'all i cannot believe that i allowed my room to get this way but i did i did because life surely was lifing okay and if you've been with us for a while then you know that life threw us a serious curveball um at the beginning of the month and we were not prepared for it at all but we are making it through and that's exactly what i can say right here but just seeing where my room just that was just my room y'all just seeing where my room was and how it looked that was an eye opener for me and trust me that was about a week and a half worth of just like not doing anything at all just letting things pile up it it, it was just it's, it's crazy but we are getting it in shape as you guys can see I am trying to well this is gonna be it's not a try I am going to be going through and cleaning what I can clean in my room getting it prepared and ready for us to decorate it for fall um, this video should have been up you know at the pretty much the beginning of uh, September but it didn't make it but we're here now right we're here now and that's all that matters and we're going to tackle it. Um, let me introduce myself. For those of you that are new to my channel, hello. Hi there. My name is Amy. I am a wife. I am a mom to two kids who are adults now. <laughs> I'm also a Gigi to two and I work a full-time job for a pediatric doctor's office. I put in at least 40 or more hours a week so there is a there is no time during my weekday to honestly get anything done. Um, just because I work for home I like to tell people don't 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 let the smooth taste fool you. Yes I do work from home however I am in front of a computer from about 7 30 in the morning until about 5 30 6 o'clock and in the afternoon and um i i love what i do it is a passion of mine i love being able to help parents and kids um but all of the things that you see on this channel as far as me cleaning and doing i have to say for the weekend because there is no time in my day to get this done so if you're anything like me and you're just needing the motivation to get it out and get it done well you're in the right spot so i hope you enjoy this video we are getting ready to get into it right here i am showing you guys my sconce that i have on the wall and y'all know y'all know I love flowers I well let me take that back I'm not a florist but I love to decorate with florals I think florals make a big statement in your house they go a long way you can always change them up for whatever mood that you're in or whatever season that is coming or you know if you're celebrating something florals always makes a statement so on my wall in my bedroom I do have these two sconce floral pieces so we're starting here and I'm gonna show you the um, stems and stuff that we're gonna be using I got these pumpkins right here guys from Dollar Tree when I saw them I was like oh these are gonna be so good so my idea was to take a skewer and put it through these pumpkins these pumpkins have clips already on the back of them so I was like, I'm gonna take these skewers and put them through the pumpkins and they'll easily go through why well, do you have to do that because of the clips in the back I got these stems right here from Dollar Tree too because I just wanted something really simple yet with a bold color of fall just to kind of brighten up the sconce area so I'm showing you what the one looked like that I've already done off camera and as you can see it just brought the color of fall to it I just wanted a little taste of it you know what I'm saying nothing too much but just something that would just be like yeah it, it made a statement
by the way you guys I did not have to use those skewers I used the clips that's on the back of these pumpkins to just clip them on and they worked perfectly and I'm glad that they had the clips because it made it a little easier and I didn't have to actually go through and stick a stick through these pumpkins that would have been a little bit hard because they are covered in cloth but it worked So I pulled this garland from downstairs that was up on my cabinet in my kitchen. I like it better up here. I thought it was just out of place and I didn't really like it downstairs. But one thing that I like to do in my bedroom is kind of make my dresser when I'm decorating like for a season, if I can. I like to kind of make my dresser full. And what I mean by that is just kind of make it a little busy with decorations. That way it prevents us from putting anything on our dressers because my husband and myself if we see a clean slate we will lay something right there almost like when you come in from your you know like when you you have a kitchen island everything seems to gravitate to that kitchen island well that's how my dresser is so I like to kind of fill it up like you see with uh, decorations to try to help prevent us sticking stuff there such as pins keys cups um, anything that we have in our hand that's the first place that we'll sit it when we come upstairs so I added this picture of my husband and I up there and I got this frame from a place called roses it's like almost like a uh, what would you say it is I don't know like a mm. Like a T, it's not a TJ Maxx. I don't know what roses would be classified as, but if you have a rose, it's like a like a Burks or a Bills, yeah, it's kind of a store like that. Anyway, I got it. I got that frame from Roses, and it was only twelve dollars. And I wanted to bring in some gold because my room is pretty dark because of our furniture. And I like the way that the picture actually turned out. And those flowers came from Hobby Lobby, and I just stuck them in that vase that I already had. These sheets, you guys. Let me tell you about my bed for a little bit. And then we'll kind of go from, yeah, I'll let you finish watching, watching the others because you know I can talk, uh, but let me tell you about my bed real quick. So these sheets I ended up getting from Amazon and I was going to go with the terracotta color because that's where my brain was way at the beginning of summer, like fall, I want to do terracotta that that orangey looking color. But then I saw everybody was actually doing that color and I was like, ah, took my idea so anyway I was like I want to do I think I'm gonna go ahead and do hunter green so I found these sheets on Amazon y'all <laughs> these sheets are everything you feel me but the color green turned out so good I loved it so much I was like shooting myself in the foot about it because I was like oh I should have saved this for Christmas now I gotta go through and figure out what I'm gonna do for Christmas because this green is so gorgeous you'll see how it turns out at the end so I'm gonna hush right now and let you guys watch but yeah the green really it paid off I'm gonna have to figure out Christmas now y'all
this is where it gets real serious in this video. <laughs> I'm just teasing, but it do get serious. This is the company that I ordered these curtains off of. Y'all, when I saw these curtains on Amazon, I fell in love. However, I did not know they was velvet. Yeah. you the, Dude, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has ordered something from Amazon and didn't read everything. Yeah, because clearly I didn't do that at all with these curtains. But what I do like about them, one, the color. Gorgeous. Two, they are heavy, y'all. They are heavy. So the quality is nice. Three, they are black out because it can be honestly super super like sunny outside and I can shut these curtains drapes whatever you want to call them and it will get dark in my room but I don't know if y'all can see the elephant in the room right now because that's another part about the curtains that I didn't read I'm sure y'all can see it but if you can't see it then look at the length of these curtains. Like what? I swore these curtains. I swore I ordered these curtains and for them to be, um, did I do 84? I don't know if I did 84 or 96. This is where I realized it. Yeah, girl was crushed. I was crushed. Yeah, baby. Let's relive it. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's all right. Do y'all see the length of these curtains? I was like, how did you let this go? Okay, it is what it is. I had to deal with it. I'm showing you guys right here. We're going to make the best out of it. It's about two, maybe three inches. Might be about two and a half inches off of the ground. It's okay. But I want you to get into, get all the way into the color. Well, it look black right here, but it ain't black. It's like a pretty hunter, like emerald green color. Y'all, the color is amazing. And do you see how it just blocked the sun out? I didn't really think that they were like going to be true blackout, but they were. And, and I guess they should be if they're going to be velvet. Okay. Velvet. Is that velvet? Yeah, that's velvet. Um, I did not know <laughs> that these curtains were velvet, y'all. But they are. But if you look at this right here. Oh, my word, y'all. Oh, my word. This is gorgeous the curtains turned out to be extremely nice minus the fact that they are short but as you can see you know if when i pull them back you can definitely see the light filtering but they're they're gorgeous do you see the color no y'all can't see the color like i can but they're pretty they're so pretty So the last area I'm going to be working on is my bathroom and I'm literally just going to go through and just kind of add some fall decor to these shelves. Nothing much, just a little touch of fall. This is going to be my first time actually decorating my bathroom for a season. Um, I found it to be very fun. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I found it to be very fun and I enjoy it every time I do go into my bathroom and, you know, can just see the pops of color in there. Um, I did recently, well, back in the springtime, I redid my bathroom. Um, I'll try to link the video in an iCard up at the top. Um, and I really love the way that it turned out. The only thing that I think that I'm having an issue with <laughs> is the color. It is the lightest room right now in my house. I don't know if I actually like the base color. I love the board and batten color, but I don't think I like the base color. I'm used to the neutral grays and this being the type of color that it is, it's kind of throwing me off. And I wish it was just a little bit darker, more so on the tone of a gray, I believe, but I'm trying to give myself at least a year to just adapt to it. And if I can't, then your girl will be repainting anyway i am just taking some leftover fl flowers here adding it to a, a little vase that i already had up there and then i'm just taking a, some little um uh what do you call them decors i have a gnome and then i have a a truck that i had from last year that i'm just adding 
to the spot and it literally those little things made a huge difference in the bathroom you'll see I really love the way that my room turned out it gave us the right amount of color it is so cozy especially at night when we go in there um, the the darkness of the room from the curtains and just the brightness from you know just here and there the little pops of color that we got coming out I, it really gave me more than I honestly thought that it would it is screams fall to me but it's a subtle fall um, I enjoyed the way that it turned out. I hope this video brought you guys some type of motivation. I hope that um, you got some type of ideas from this. I didn't do too much DIY, but I did use a lot of things that I already had on hand. Um, I'll try to link all of the things that I use down below. Some of it's coming from Dollar Tree, so I won't be able to link it. But if you did like this video, be sure to give it a good, a big thumbs up. Also, let us know in the comments what you liked about the video and if you will be trying some of these ideas out for yourself. Also, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any videos that I have upcoming. I enjoyed doing this video with you guys. Um, I... I'm so happy with the turnout. I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.